What was the weirdest thing you have ever done when you was a kid? Oh my god. What's the biggest <laughs> thing you regret? I play with you, but I regret that. I could go back and I could have had you like this whole time. Yeah. And nobody ain't touch you. Nobody been with you. Nobody had your heart. None of that. I go back. What it do? What's up, here and I'm gang. What it do, gang? Y'all already know fruit and pre is in the building. Y'all already know we need to to shut the building completely, completely. down. Oh, we got this challenge, babe. Let them know what we doing today. The challenge is asking fruit questions while bait. Bait, y'all. That mean that we are kind of. Oh my gosh. You know what I mean? Today we gonna do the challenge. We actually did a video like this before a while ago, and we finally doing a part two since y'all like the last one so much. Y'all been asking for a part two, but this one is with a twist. We got the twist. I'm anxious because I don't know what she's gonna ask. She didn't tell me her questions or anything, and the fact that I'm bait gonna make me wanna tap into my answer even more. And it's gonna be funny, like her her <laughs> reactions, her answers gonna be funny. I got some spicy questions in my phone. You do? Yes, I do. Take it easy on me, man. Don't go too hard. On me, bro. Right. Anywho, y'all, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and turn your post notification bells on so y'all never miss with me and my babe post. Y'all know we post, we do this for y'all. So y'all make sure y'all spam the comments, Team Fruit or Team Pre. Get this video to at least 5,000 likes without further ado. They can do, do better than that. You think they can do, better, do than better than that? How many likes, babe? I want to say like 7,000. 7,000 likes, y'all. And if y'all get us to 7,000 likes, we will post part three. three? So we gonna see how y'all comment. Without further ado, let's get into, into the, the video. video. Yeah. So, the first question is Oh my god What was the weirdest thing you have ever done when you was a kid? Oh my god Hey, y'all know I be doing some weird stuff with y'all jits yeah. Like, for real hey, I don't want to embarrass myself and don't beat around much. the bush Don't do that <sighs> so it was one day after school. I was staying with my grandma, y'all. And I was with my cousin and everything. We walked home from school. Grandma, she didn't like, she wasn't home, so the door was locked. But we knew the routine. If my grandma not there, we go in the backyard, we close the gate. Yes, and we go on a trampoline. We just jump on a trampoline. We like when she wasn't there because we got a chance to go in the backyard and, you know, hang out and have fun and stuff. Basically, y'all, she wasn't there. And I had to do number two really, really bad, y'all. Like, no! my stomach was killing me. So I'm looking oh around God. in the backyard like, like, what could I use the bathroom, man? Like, I gotta use the bathroom. I ain't had no tissue. I didn't have nothing. So I'm like, bro, what am I gonna do? My cousins, they looking around. I'm like, bro, y'all, my stomach hurt, my stomach hurt. I kept on telling everybody, I seen a cooler. I seen a cooler in the backyard, bro. I promise to God, any of my cousins could tell y'all I'm not lying. I looked at that cooler, I told them. I said, y'all, watch out for anybody. I went, squatted by that cooler. I just was doing number two. Yes. <laughs> That I do not be feeling good, so I did what I had to do. Bro, right you be pooping back. everywhere because you tell me about the one where your grandma caught yeah. you pooping on the floor. I'm the a, I, I, like, my stomach hurt, it don't be no limitations. And I tell y'all, that bubble sat in that cooler for a long, long time. Time until one day, I think one of my cousins had a game, and they was like, Let me get the cooler in the back. Cause you know, for a game at a football game, you gotta have a cooler, the tents, and all of that. But all they seen in the cooler was straight poop, and they had to be sitting in there flies. So it was just disgusting. Cause that's Who held that doodle or something? Oh, I don't know who my grandma was coming home. I had to use a bathroom, bro. Did they ever find out? I mean, and I never told them. Me and my, my cousins, they didn't never say nothing. None of us never said nothing. Like, we all kept it, like, Ooh, ten toes. So they never looked in the cooler? I told you, after a long time, like, when we had a, when it was a game for my cousin, they had to use Ew. a cooler. But I feel like that's the weirdest thing. Though. Next question, bro. Oh, we already like baked. <laughs> if we didn't tell y'all in the beginning. Yeah, we are already baked, y'all. Tell me you want to do these videos because we don't want to influence nobody. So, kids, do yeah. not never look at what you see on TV or the internet and make you want to do it. Always be true to yourself and do things that you you genuinely want to do next question what was the worst thing you have ever done and got a whooping for it whoa the worst thing i ever done and, and got my baby whooping. got whooping you know what i mean? got whooped <laughs> i was raised on spare rod spoil a child what's it called i don't know but i don't know what it's called but basically I like got i got whooped things out my whole life you know? i got whooped from the time i was a baby all the way till i was like 17 years old Literally, y'all. It's crazy, but it actually made me stronger. You know what I mean? Like, I people don't be understanding that. It make you stronger because you always getting whooped. So it just make you like you could be able to take any like anything that come you know your way. But let's get into the story. So basically, okay, 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 okay. 
I got whooped so many times. <laughs> I got whooped so many but times. But the worst, like the worst thing you have done. Okay, all right. I'm gonna go on and tell this story, bro. I think I told you this already. It was one time, um, me and you know a cousin I had, um, um, <laughs> we had took my sister car. You know, I think that was the worst. Like that had to be the worst thing. Yeah, we took my sister car, and we went to go see you know girls and everything. And oh, you went to go. So you took your sister car, and you went to go see to girls? go see girls. But the thing about it is, I wasn't even driving though, cause I didn't even know how to drive around that time for real. You feel me? But my cousin, he was driving, and yeah, I got back, and I got a whooping from my sister. My sister whooped me. Kuda whooped my ass. Kuda whooped you? Kuda whooped my ass. How and she, she was, whooped you? She had a, I think she had a belt on her hand, and she was whooping the fuck out of me. Yeah. What she was saying? And I was in, like, the 10th grade. What she was saying? She was like, you took my fucking car. Like, she was beating my ass, bro. Yes, bro. And then after that, my mama was waiting on me. Like, I was trying to hide under the car from my mama. My mama was throwing shit at me. Like, it was really just big, y'all. Kuda like, was the whooping you behind Kuda used to whoop me. Yeah, she used to whoop me. She used to hit me. And it's crazy because we was only like five years, six years apart. But it's cool, though. You feel me? Like, she felt like, damn, like, you really tried me. You get what I'm saying? So, I think that was the worst. Well, she got a whooping from my big sister. <sighs> now, I bet you ain't take that car again. No, no. I never drove a car after that. <laughs> Oh, 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 I really want to hear this story time. What was your worst experience with a girl? Oh, my ah! God. <laughs> okay. I'm going to honestly say my worst experience with a girl had to be. No, what, what great end? Like, tell me the story, too. Wait, wait, wait. So, what do you, what do you mean? when you say experience, does it mean kissing? Because it's two different no, stories. No, kissing. Cause... What's your worst Sexual experience. experience with a girl. I mean, even if that's doing something like this to them, that's a sexual experience. I just want to be clear here. Yes. Okay, so it had to be that. Hurt. It had to be hurt. So we went to the movie theater, y'all, right? And you know, I like, know you're not gonna tell that story. <laughs> they actually wanted this story. Like, it was like, tell us that story. So. Basically, like, you know, like, when you young and stuff, and you go to the movies and stuff with your friends, like, that's what I was doing. I was going to the movies, and my friends, Precious was even there, y'all. She was even in the building. You were so grown. You were always trying to be on the scene. So, Pre was even in the building. I was all so the, uh, grown at the time. Yeah, so like, it wasn't me. It wasn't her. We was friends. We wasn't even dealing with each other like that. So, around that time, like, you know, we had the same group of friends, kind of, right? Yeah. We was all kind of cool. Like, it was, we all knew each other and everything, so... I was talking to somebody. I think you asked. That was her birthday weekend. So I think you actually was at her house. I think she had a little sleepover. Yeah. You was at her crib. So that's what pissed me off because you supposed to ask her friend. You supposed to told her like, <laughs> get right before you go I there. I did before. You, you did you not tell see, her. I promise. You told I did her. Before. So boom, we all get there, right? So we go in there. Pre was with the girl beforehand. I just want to let y'all know that they spent she spent like the girl house and everything. So the girl come there, you know, we in a movie, we chilling. I was rocking with her, you feel me? Like oh, she was cool. Oh my god, I can't believe you really telling this. Story. <laughs> we ahead. was cool. I was rocking with her, like, yeah, like she was my little yeah. So boom, we sitting there and everything, you know, we was watching a movie. We in a front row away from everybody, ducked off in our own little area. She like, oh my gosh. <laughs> So we ducked off in our little area. So I put my hand down there. You get what I'm saying? And I think I had laid by it. I, it was that like, all at the same time. I think I put my hand in there first, and then I lay on her lap while I was doing it, making it seem like I was asleep. You know what I'm saying? Just in case somebody walked by, because you always gotta be on point in case somebody eased by. So I made it seem like I was asleep on her, but my hands was inside. You feel me? So when I put my hand there, I automatically smelled it. Smelled something like. When somebody stink, like they have like a, a stitch, like you could smell it even if you put your head down or right around, babe. Can't you? Like I smelled a little stitch. It was like, damn, like she fishy, bro. Like she, like she got a, a loud smell. No, to it was sour. It was, it was sour. Fishy, I knew sour because she everything. put it to my nose. You ain't let me get to that point. Go ahead, go ahead before I get mad. So boom, I pulled my hand out and I. <sighs> Needed to wash my hand, like I don't want to accidentally touch my face. Like 
I didn't want to get that smell on me. Like, remind you, I'm in the movies. Like, anywhere I walk past my they gonna smell that on me. Like, I'm gonna be saying people gonna think that it was me. No exaggeration. It was that, that strong. Babe, you gotta tell them I'm not lying, bro. I went in the bathroom. I literally went inside the bathroom, y'all. Pre was, I think, I told Pre to come to the bathroom with me. Yes. Oh, what well, you was already in there. No, I told no, you. No, I told you to, um, no, you want me to come, come with you. you. Yeah, yeah. Because so, you was walking to the bathroom when you did it. Yeah, so I'm like, Pre, like, I, I kept it real with her. I'm like, bro, like, like, she stayed. Like, and I put it to Pre's nose. I think Pre was like, you lying. I don't think she wanted to believe it for me to put it to her nose. Like, I think I, you, you kept, you thought I was lying. So I put it to her nose. I did like this. And she even said, that shit stayed. <laughs> and that was her friend. You it wrong. Was, it was a sour smell. How do you smell? It is. It smell like fish. It smell like period. It smell like everything. It smell like everything. Hey, friend, like, you need a... Buy some pH. It was soap really bad. Y'all, I washed my hands. Y'all, I use the soap. You know when you squeeze the soap? Wash I washed my Let me tell you. Let me tell the story. This is my story. I went through this, bro. Stop playing. I washed my hands, y'all. I'm like, all right, I'm good. Still stay. I had to put more soap. I'm scrubbing, scrubbing, scrubbing. I'm like, this, y'all, bro. You know when you when you do one of these, that's the shit you need to stay. Is it in the crease? That, bro, I washed my hands again. It was still day. I washed my hands again. I'm like, bro, this shit just gonna sit on my hand. I went home. I poured bleach on my hands, bro. <laughs> like, it was that bad. That was the worst experience I've ever had in my life. That was really bad. Oh, wow. Next question. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe you really said it and told a story. Yeah, yeah. Y'all see, see, I had to get that smell, and I wasn't even a part of that. The like, girl was a sweet girl, though. You know, she was a good, sweet girl. I had a big heart. She just was. Play with me again. Play with me again. What you talking about? Play with me again. All right, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to shut up. See, that's one thing about me. I know how to chill. You don't. Anyways. <clears throat> Next question is: she Have you ever walked in your parent, walked in on your parents, and if so, what position were they in? Uh, I don't think I ever walked in on my mama doing nothing. For real? That's one thing about her. She had a lock on her door. She was a very secretive woman. Still, still lives to this day. You don't know a lot of stuff. It'd be a lot of blanks with her. You'd be confused on this and that. She always been like that. I just never, I never walked in on her like getting it done to her or anything. Like, never. Oh, good for your eyes. Cause my eyes still got that picture, mama. You need oh, to shut up. Oh, <laughs> you nasty. <laughs> okay. So the next question is, have you ever got caught in the middle of you having sexual intercourse? Yes, I have. And I think I think that was that was one of like one of the bad worst things that has ever happened to me. The feeling of it really didn't feel good. Like I literally had to run now. I barely had on clothes. What I had happened? To put what my happened? clothes Tell us on. The story. Do I have permission here? Yeah, go ahead. So, y'all, bro, like, it was around the times where I first started doing, like, sexual stuff with a girl. Um, Like, like around the, like, around the first times. Because first it was pre, then after pre, I didn't do nothing with a girl till her. Like, doing something with her. Like, actually, like, taking it to that step. Not no little play, play this, play, play that. You get what I'm saying? So, basically, um... I'm at her house. She told me that her mama wasn't there. Like, she like, my mama not home. I don't know if she told me that just so that I could feel more comfortable, like, being there and stuff. Because I'm really big on that with the parents and all of this. Because my mama wasn't even rocking with it. You get what I'm saying? So, I be trying to make sure we good. You get what I'm saying? Like, we straight. Like, and then once I get that green light, it's like, all right, I'm going to take you there. You feel me? But she made me feel like we was straight. Like, she was on some, like, we good. So, we doing a whole ordeal, y'all. We kissing everything, bro. I'm thinking her mama not even there. I even, I could have sworn like it was even moans and then we didn't even know. Well, I don't even think she knew that her mama was there. Her mama probably was secretly there. I don't know. Mind you, she stay in an apartment. Like her mama um, room right here, her room like on the other side of the apartment. So it was cool. So boom, we doing all of it, doing all Why of it. Why you so happy to be telling us? Now I'm story. just telling you. You know when I tell a story, babe. When I tell a story, like I'm a very like graphic person, so I gotta like really like. Go ahead. So um. Yeah, I think I'm on top of her. I'm kissing her and everything. By like, literally doing everything. You get what I'm That's saying? That's not what kissing is. So, <laughs> so, basically, all I hear her mama say is her name. I don't want to say her name, but, like, basically, name, like, she was like, what the F? 
Like, what the fuck is that going on? And all I hear is her screaming, and I just drop. Like, I just like, wow. You know, like when you on top of somebody, and like if you ever get caught, you just gonna try to lay, play dead. Like, <laughs> it was one of those points where I really tried to play <laughs> dead. <laughs> Like, the, you know, like, I just froze, like, and then her mama came and snatched the covers off. We didn't have, both of us didn't have on no bottles. Like, it was just so bad, bro. Like, her mama literally seen. <sighs> and, and what her mama said after that? Her mama just stormed out the room. After her mama seen that, she was like, what the fuck? Bro, call your mama right now. Just like that. And she stormed out the room. And we both just, like, Oh my fucking god, we tried to hurry up. Remind you, my sister, like, she used to pick me up from school. So I tried, I tried to put back on my school clothes. Cause when I was there, like I had on a, you know, like a little throw on something, but I wanted to put back on my school clothes. So it just was horrible. I had to storm out of there. Her mom was slapping her and everything to the point I just like, let me go. Like, I gotta slide them out. Like, then that's when I'm I'm on a staircase of their apartments, like trying to change it to my school clothes. Like it was just horrible. I never been so scared in my life. Not that type of scare, like, sister picked me up, I just got in the car, like, everything just was normal. And I had just went through all of that shit. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You had a lot going on within your childhood. I'm, yeah. I'm, I did, yeah. I did. That's just too much. For a lot of bad experiences. <laughs> Alright, this is an embarrassing question. What was the longest you went without showering, and why did you go that long? Um, the longest I've ever went without showering had to be like you know like when you go to a cousin house or something. It'll never be while I'm at home. Like you ever went to your cousin house and you just like, like I feel like that's the longest. Probably I'm gonna say a good three days max. Nothing, nothing <laughs> more good than three days. days. Probably at my never cousin went house. To my cousin house in. Went to my cousin house and. I wouldn't want to put on her clothes, so I'd be like, like sometimes I'd be like, you know, like a lot of people be comfortable with that. When I, I was sometimes too, but I just wasn't down with putting on her clothes, like you feel me. So I just when I go home, that's when I shower. But it'd be like the weekend, that is that'd be it. And then I go home and I shower. And I'm never at home. I don't play this on top of games. I shower when I'm at the crib. Oh, I know. <laughs> okay, so the last and final question. And this is actually going to be like a deep, deep question. Oh, depending my God. On, depending on how you take it, babe, like this going to be something deep that you might want to, might not want to tell us or might do want to tell us. So, we're going to see based on <clears throat> her facial expression when I ask the question. So, the last and final question Ask the is, question, damn. What's the <laughs> biggest thing you regret? Whoa. the biggest thing that I regret what is your biggest regret is playing with you why you gotta do that that's my biggest regret you know like I had you like before you had even went through all the shit you went through before all, I went through all the shit I went through and I played with you maybe we was too young even much you know know how to be serious but I regret that like if I could go back and I could have had you like this whole time and nobody ain't touch you, nobody ain't been with you, nobody had your heart, none of that shit. I'll go back. You could have said any other thing, but you chose. You chose me! <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Mm -hmm. Why you do that? Do you do that to put on? You really Bruh, do that? I talked to her like this really morning on camera. To I talk to you like this all day long. But anywho, y'all, if y'all enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I'm talking all three, y'all. You can't do one without doing the other two. But if y'all want more videos like this, just comment down below or DM us and say, we want part three. And we probably got y'all. But Probably. Probably. <laughs> without further ado, Fruit and Pre is out. Gang. Yeah. Yeah.